You are tuned into the hippest radio station in the Tri City area, WAWL 103.5. This is Walk the Beat, dedicated to bringing you the latest in musical talent from our very own West Michigan area. I'm Dave Palmer, your host of Walk the Beat, and we are at Third Coast Music with Ben McNeil from the Deep Greens and Blues Band. Deep Greens and Blues, you got it. Yep. I love it. I mean, you guys do have a nice sound. I tell you, telling everybody right now, be ready for th- at least three real good songs for the next half hour. Uh, yeah, we certainly hope so. That's our goal. Uh, oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, in fact, I was just saying how close you were on the very first year that Walk the Beat put the event on a couple years ago that uh, you um, submitted it, the be- oh, a best song. Um, and how close the boating was. And on we that. had no idea. I mean, until, until you know, just now when we sat down and now, yeah. I'm, now I'm secretly really bummed out. Uh, well, you know, <laughs> uh, just so you know, the very first walk to beat, we had 100 days from the time that we became nonprofit again. I had to straighten things out to putting on that event. There was almost 500 people involved with it. It's a, it's an so, unreal undertaking, and I remember Rick that first year too. We talked a lot, and he oh, was just oh, oh, oh. totally running around it, crazy. <laughs> Rick, yeah, <laughs> there's no doubt about it. our friend Rickman uh, Wielden. He just left, and uh, but I'm so glad that he c- contacted us together or connected us together. Absolutely, yeah. So thanks for showing up for the Walk to Be no radio problem. Program. I appreciate you having me here. This is awesome. Now you are also a local merchant right here in Grand Haven area. Yeah, so I'm kind of a jack of all trades, master of none in the yeah. uh, Spring Lake Grand Haven area. I've got uh, the wet mitten surf shop um, right down in Chinook Pier. Right. And then I have a real estate brokerage uh, oh, in I didn't Spring know Lake that. also. And I didn't then know that. and then I moonlight as a uh, as an amateur uh, non rock star. Well, I think, I don't know about, <clears throat> you might be amateur, but you're definitely a rock star, man. You even look like a rock star. It's a state of mind, right? Yeah, yeah. You bet. I, I actually agree with that. <laughs> so, uh, Deep Greens and Blues. How many guys you got in the band? Or is there women? So, there's, so, so there's four of us in the band. Um, the original three were Travis, who's guitar, uh, vocals, uh, Jason, who plays bass for us, and then uh, Kelsey, who is uh, our lead female vocalist. Nice. Um, so these guys were together for a couple years from 2011 to 2013 as kind of a trio, figuring out their sound. And, and, and I think the original uh, idea for them was to just kind of be a very nice, you know, acoustic vocal yeah, yeah. trio. Um, and I had met Travis before, which was funny because I was trolling. I, I moved back to Grand Haven in 2011 from Denver. And uh, I said, you know what? I'm, I'm ready to start playing music again. It was one of those things. So, yeah, sure. of course, what do you do? You go on Craigslist. Who needs a drummer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, All right. So I was on Craigslist and I saw Travis's ad and I knew it was him. But I oh. responded as a joke anyways. And I said, hey, right. you want to jam? So anyways, the, I joined <laughs> those guys, uh, played our first gig all together as Deep Greens and Blues in... Uh, 2013. Um, and oh, so it wasn't that a, long ago. No, no, just a couple years. Yeah. Well, you guys pulled it together pretty quick. I must have just, uh, you must have submitted that song not too long after. Yep. Yeah, that yep. was, yeah, that was pretty. Well, those guys had, they had come out with a, I guess, yeah, a full length album uh, in 2011 called Back to Home. And that was the the track we submitted was Back to Home. So that was the title track off right. that album. Nice tune, man. It, yeah, it was a great tune. And, you know, credit to Travis for writing it. And, and that was kind of the track where, we took that and said, okay, this is kind of what we're going for. You sure. Know, you find yeah. that, you find that. You got to kind of find yep. your thing. Yep. Yes. Right. So, um, well, nice. So you're continuing to work on that type of a program. Yeah. That type of program. Um, a and, format, I guess. Yeah. Would be yep. The word. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So it's four of us, uh, mainly. And then, you know, for this album, we were so fortunate or the new album that we'll talk about in a second there, we were so fortunate to bring in so many other awesome musicians to oh, play so with us. Oh, great, it, great. It's a truly so. humbling experience when you think <laughs> you know how to play, and then you bring in real players to play with you in the studio. You hang like, around Third Coast yeah, music here, yeah. and you want to be humbled. Oh, you got, you do, oh take a minute. Yep, yep. <laughs> There's plenty of great players. Well, that is what's so spectacular about West Michigan. As far as music goes, there are musicians around here that will knock your socks and off. And it's crazy, yeah, and, and I totally agree. And um you wouldn't think, I mean, when you think of big music and art centers, of course, you think of big cities, you right. know, whether it's LA or New York, or oh, if I want to make anything out of this, I have to go to Nashville or, you know, Correct. whatever, whatever all the, the canned lines are. But it, I, I, I just don't think it's true anymore. I think this is an unbelievable area to be oh. a part of the arts community, the music community. Definitely. Um, so we feel very fortunate to be here. And the one thing about this area 
ev- I have never met uh, but maybe a handful of musicians that aren't supportive of a di- another musician yep you know we want to help each other around here and i have in fact i was just talking to a a mother whose daughter is in la uh with music and she goes the culture around here for music is so much different there's everybody's for themselves yeah i can imagine it's yeah they're cutthroat they're not collaborating together um which means they're not producing the ultimate music that they could because you know how it works you so you bump into people that all of a sudden your musical talents gel. Yep. And you know when they don't. <laughs> when yeah. it doesn't, and it seems <laughs> weird because you could have two perfectly capable musicians on their own or doing their genre of whatever it's going to be, and then you get those two people together. It just doesn't click. Yep, absolutely. And then there's other times you're going, oh, man, did you hear that? Yeah. Did you hear what just happened? Yep. And it is pretty cool, isn't it? Yep, absolutely. <laughs> when, it have, when it comes out right, you're just going, man. And and I don't. Some people don't understand. If it's a little off, you know it. Mm-hmm. And when it's really in the pocket, well, it just that, gels. Yep, man. absolutely. And, and to your point, you know, that's how musicians and artists connect is through that medium of music. Correct. So. Yeah. You know, just like other people would meet somebody on the sidewalk and shake hands and have a conversation and say, and then you kind of walk away saying, oh, I, you know, we could be friends or maybe, you know, whatever. That's how musicians are playing music together. You're communicating through that medium and you can tell immediately if you have a musical relationship with another player or not. Correct. And it's, it's, it's just been phenomenal yep. everybody around so i'm so glad that you're part of it absolutely and you're also not only a musician but a business owner yep oh my goodness it's hard to do isn't it yeah yeah, yeah. it does i mean being self-employed yeah and you know self yeah. is stepping into a, the, a different world and anybody who's not self-employed they they can't quite understand it yeah being but, self-employed and then and then you know doing the music thing oh at night God, and yeah. weekends and yeah. you know and, and effectively as as that grows and and Travis and I uh our guitar player and singer we've noticed that more so this year than anything you know it starts to turn into its own little business and then you know you're running three businesses and it, you know it's kind of burning the candle at both ends as far as lifestyle goes but I don't think I'd have it any other way we love it Okay. All right. Here, uh, while you were talking, I'm trying to figure out which songs we're going to be listening to. <laughs> so uh, we did. I forgot to ask you. I was giving you a little tour around uh, Third Coast Music here, and I forgot to ask you what the three songs are. What are the three songs we're going to be talking about today? So I picked three. There's a lot of different types of tracks on the album, and so I I tried to pick one of kind of sure, three sure. different feels very good so the first one we're going to listen to is canyon bound which i guess you could argue is the title track you know it's the first track on the album it kind Mm -hmm. of kind of sets the tone um and canyon bound is you know it's it's really a, a a sort of carefree song in a way you know it's not super heavy it's you know it's kind of got a country feel and it's really just about you know travis always says when he introduces it he says this is about going out west but but more uh in broader terms, you know, just getting outside, breath of fresh air, you right, know, right, let yeah. life go. So Colorado around. just happened to be what the yeah. picture that was yeah, in his yeah, head, exactly. but the whole thing is to get the feel. And and uh, you know, I understand uh, there are songs that yep. are definitely put together, even if the words don't make any sense. You want that feel. Yep. Yep. You know, so you shoot for that, and then hopefully the the uh, the lyrics uh, really kick it in gear. Yep, absolutely. So, uh, are you guys find out now? Are you guys all collaborating on a lot of this stuff, or yeah, is and, it basically and Jason's puts this together, and then you follow the format? Tra- yeah. So Travis is the definitely the uh, primary songwriter, um, and so he's the one putting together most of the songs, and then we, you know, he'll kind of bring us a concept with lyrics. Correct, and we, right. You know, everybody does their input. I have. I started writing, so I'm 29 now. I started writing music also when I was 15 or 16. So I, I had quite a bit of material when I joined the band, but I didn't I didn't want to step on any toes. Sure. You know, when you get into a situation like that, you kind of want to see, okay, what are these guys about? What are yep. they? You, you don't want to start, you know, inserting yourself in the situation too I'm quickly. I'm not the front man yeah. yet. 
Um, <laughs> not the front man. So yet. I was with them a couple of years before I before I even played them or showed them anything. Um, oh, okay. And a couple of my songs do really gel with the feel that we go for. Um, so one of my songs, November song, ended up on on the new album. Um, nice. And nice. we're not going to play it today. That'll be a secret hidden treasure for those ah, of you who uh, ah. snag the album. Well, I'll tell you what, maybe we better get to this Canyon Bound right Absolutely. now. Absolutely. So do it. Uh, this was written by this was written by uh, Travis Atkinson, who is the uh, the deep greens and blues front man for lack of a better excellent term. blue let's listen to canyon bound by deep greens and blues hit it down the open highway Never thought about looking back Only thought about doing it my way To the road is a dusty track Dusty track Love was a long past saving and My heart is burned up good Spent a long time Just sitting and waiting Longer than I should Let me drift away
You are listening to WAWL 103.5. This is Walk the Beat. If you have just tuned in, we are talking with Ben McNeil from Deep Greens and Blues. That last song was Canyon Bound, and it was Killer Bound. Man, that was good stuff. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, it's a, it, you know it's just a catchy it's a catchy tune, and and you know it right away when you when you hear it, which is cool. Exactly. You yeah, it doesn't take anything to no, get it into that take, song. And it's just, it's fun to write music like that. It, you know, where you just where you're writing it and you're thinking, okay. You know, this is pretty accessible. You're not, you yes. know, you're not trying to do anything fancy. It's just it's, you're just having a nice, good time yep, with absolutely. a lot of good musicians, yep. and uh, you know, your mandolin players keeping yep, so that that's, thing uh, rocking. And that's Matt Young from the uh, the Sweet J Band, Sweet Japonic, uh, out of Grand Rapids. Um, so he was one of our guest musicians in the studio nice. that just totally added, you know, you bet. Those him are... and a couple other guys who I'll mention in a little bit added a, just a ton of and you have the album. such great harmonies. Yeah, and that's 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 really the that's really the core of our group. And and Travis has done such an awesome job at pushing us so far to become, you know, vocalists. Vocalists, and yeah. and and Kelsey actually already was. Kelsey's the only one of us who's formally trained. She's a mu- got a, a, a music degree from Hope, so oh, how so sweet. she's a true professional. But somebody's got to know what's yeah, going on, right? Uh, vocalists, <laughs> somebody, yeah. Somebody has to know how to run the exactly. Thing. But you know, it's so nice when you have somebody that knows about harmonies and stuff that can direct and be right there and say, "Okay, wait a minute, you're off a little bit." Absolutely. I mean, you have people. So, there's so many people that aren't into music that go like, well, oh, she knows how to harmonize. It's not that they just know how. You have to be trained. Yep, You have exactly. to train your ear. There is work involved with every note and this song, yep. on every song. And our big thing is to try to get people to understand there's a lot of work involved. With oh. <laughs> you own two businesses, correct? Yes. Which, if anybody was self-employed, understands that when you're self-employed, that means you get to work all the time. Oh, yeah. Every day is a, a work day. You bet. And if we could add another day, it would be great so I could catch up Absolutely. on my freaking taxes. Yep. But uh, um, then to have to still go out and really work. You're, you're not just playing music. You are really dedicated to making this sound correct yep absolutely and you know for this album chasing horizons that's that's coming out here we um it's the product of nine months in the studio basically and of course in and out of the studio because we all have day jobs um but it's funny i'm glad you brought up you know the work life balance and you know between business and music because it's it's always the times when you think i don't have any seconds left in the day to do this you know you get home and you're tired and you don't want to take a shower and then go back out and play a gig till one in the morning right but it's funny because that's actually what energizes you you know i know it's it's, it's when you're it's the most tired sword. it's when you're the most exhausted and then you go out and play music and that's what it's all about you know right. that's why you're working so because you when you're that. playing all of a sudden you forget the tired and Absolutely. you forget all the other stuff you got to do in the morning and you actually can get into your own little world and share it with others at the same time and that's the best part you, you know man. seeing people connect with your music is is the most rewarding thing for sure i love it i love it well you guys are definitely doing a, a great job and like i said you are off. i hope you're putting in for best song again this year oh we will uh, yeah it, it's gonna be and a gas i feel like nintendo justice we're gonna we're gonna try to win it this this time <laughs> well hey how do we get a hold of you guys uh, i mean do you have a facebook do you have a, a yep absolutely you know, reverb so, nation yep uh deepgreensmusic.com is our website and we're just revamping that so it's going to be really fresh going into 2016 good um facebook deep greens and blues on facebook and we post all of our events um nice we post our events on uh band in town band is town it's one of those you know oh, i haven't heard that and one. all that stuff so right um, here on w-a-w-l you just learned <laughs> about that new site <laughs> there you go cutting edge but yeah we're all over we've got our we've got our schedule on our site and on facebook and nice, we do instagram nice. and all, um, the, all the all that good stuff uh, uh, when you were uh, um recording this this was recorded in in 2015 or 2014? Yep, this was all 2015. So we started early spring 2015. We did our we did uh, four tracks kind of earlier in the spring. Mm-hmm. And then summer, the gigging schedule got really busy. So we kind of right. picked it back up in the fall and finished it off. You're playing out quite a bit? 
Yeah, we average, you know, one, one and a half times a week. We did about, we played about 60 shows last year. So nice. That's a good, it's, yeah, it's enough. That's, that's, <laughs> it's that's enough. a lot for being self-employed. Also, uh, yeah. most bands don't get to play 60 times no matter what. No. And it, it, you know, it's not just me. Everybody's got, you know, everybody in the band has day jobs and of course, you know, Travis and Jason have kids. And so, yeah, it's, it's certainly a balancing act, but it's something that, I've mentioned this before, but our wives and significant others and supporters and family, you know, everybody's very supportive of us, of the schedule. And, you know, we certainly have to make sacrifices to make it happen. Oh, absolutely. Because there's still life going on. Oh, yeah. And that's what usually gets in the way of the music. Yep. It's like, I was going to play music, but life showed up. Yep. And I'm not. But... Let's get to this next song. What are you thinking about for another tune? So the next one that I think, if I put the songs in the right order on the CD, which I think I did, the next song is called Love in the Darkness. Um, and this is quite a contrast to many of the other tunes on the album. It's a little bit darker. It's very, very mellow. It's basically mm -hmm. just piano. Um, a, you'll hear a little bit of uh, brushes on the snare drum and then... Uh, some bass obviously but um love in the darkness is something that travis wrote truly just about the dark times in a relationship you know whether you have a girlfriend or a wife mm -hmm. or any other relationship but the dark times in a relationship and how you know love kind of powers through those times um and gets you through but it's, it's a beautiful song and i have to credit um Craig Avery from uh, Brenna uh, out of Grand Rapids. He played uh, piano on this song for us. Nice. And it was interesting because he's another one of those phenomenal players that we brought into the studio. And Travis had the music kind of written, but none of us play piano. And of oh, course, right. the piano guy is always the one who they come in and nobody else knows how to play. So you say, oh, just you know, kind of do this. And I kind of want this yeah. feel. And Craig sat down and I think he did it in one take and it was beyond anything we could have expected. And it, it, <laughs> I, I always say that this song is his baby because you know he kind of... He brought it to life. Right, um, right. So anyways, yeah. Well, excellent. Uh, so who all is on this song and what are they playing? So it would be me on drums, um, Craig on piano. Uh, Travis does some really cool kind of uh, tremolo electric guitar during the bridge. And then the three, you'll hear three vocal parts if you listen closely. Uh, Travis will be singing the lead part. Kelsey is up high and then I am in the middle. Excellent. Or, Excellent. no, I'm low, but I guess the, so it's three of us singing the entire song together, nice. uh, which was a labor of love for sure. Great, great. Well, I tell you what, we're going to share this with everybody right now. Blue, please play Love in the Darkness by Deep Greens and Blues. I don't see clearly. Nights are no different than the days The path is untraveled The clouds swallow moonshine And the light cannot reach all this way Blind like a fool Afraid to ask questions Doubt simple questions convey No one said it would be easy But no one said it'd be so hard Let this love fight through the darkness Yeah. 
count for nothing Destined to settle Tears bleed a silence free Stark is the contrast To living room portraits Life is not all that it seems You are listening to WAWL 103.5. This is Walk the Beat. We are at Third Coast Music with Ben McNeil, the drummer for the band Deep Greens and Blues. The last song we just heard was Loving the Darkness. Man, uh, you guys are really working on your vocals big time. Yeah, and again, I you know I credit to Travis for for not only writing the material but then pushing us to you know to believe that we can do can this. do this. Yeah, correct. And, and you can. Yeah, and and he really pushes it out of you, and you know that's what a leader does. He he'll he'll come to us with these things, and we'll go, oh come on, you know, give me right. a break. We're <laughs> uh, we're gonna spend two hours and practice learning one song, and but yeah, then yeah. you go and play it live. And, and go, people, wow. you know, if they know music, they appreciate they the work you've put into it. They know how much time is going into this. Yeah. When you get, just to get people in the same room, I keep trying to tell, anybody, anybody out there, try, call up five friends and try to get them in a room yep. once a week yeah, or twice and then play out together yeah. and still get along. Yeah. Uh, oh, you no, know? absolutely. Yeah. And yeah. We've, we've all played enough music to understand, you know, ju- the, just the fact that that we have committed this much time to each other is special. And then Correct. on top of that, you know, cause I've played in, you know, 30, 40, you know, whatever. Yeah. Hundreds yeah. Hundreds of different of, musicians. And, yeah. And, uh, not only are you making that time commitment, but then you're playing on stage and you're like, wow, we're actually friends. I actually yeah. like these people. This is a Which gas, for, man. You know, that's yeah. kind of a joke for a lot of people who play music. I mean, a lot of people <laughs> you play with, you don't like, or, you know, it's just like, <laughs> No, that's not true. Everybody gets along with Ben McNeil, I can tell. But uh, yeah, I know every now and then, yeah, especially if something, what's, what sucks is that every now and then something comes up, there's four of you in a room and you're going, God, you should, you mm-hmm. know, and somebody's doing, it's like being married sometimes when 
there's that little thing that's kind of bothering you, but you know, you got to gloss over it. Yeah. You know, yep. you got to gloss over yep. it and everybody gets together. And that's one thing I love about music is that it can bring these people from all different walks of life, all different viewpoints of life together. Absolutely. And get along mm-hmm. and still make beautiful music for the rest of everybody. It's oh, a yeah. gas, man. I, 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 I just can't, I'm always trying to relate to people that are listening how cool this stuff is. Yeah, it's very special. Yeah, yeah. So thanks for producing all your music and getting in there and Absolutely. doing all your thing, man. You got quite a bit of stuff lined up for next year, do you? Yeah, we've got quite a bit. Uh, 2016, what, what we're trying to do, you know, we played so many shows last year and it got a little bit exhausting. And, and what we're trying to do is par back the number of shows that we're playing, but really focus on booking meaningful shows. You know, Like people, Walk the Beat. It, like walk the beat in august, exactly. on august 20th on august 20th walk the beat no yeah, plug yeah. no no plug here no um, no never never yeah. but you guys do want to play but exactly yeah, beautiful, yeah we're man. planning on it and that's in those are the types of venues in in shows that we're really trying to go for where people are there to appreciate you know and it doesn't always have to be original we play a lot of good covers sure, too but basically bet. appreciate good music and 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 they're there to listen to music exactly you, know, you get sucked into playing so many things where oh you want to play a fair and there's kids riding a ferris wheel over there and there's yeah, a pony yeah. show over there and by the way you're gonna play it right here and you know yeah it's, yeah we're sticking you between yeah. the corn dogs <laughs> yeah. and the, in the in the balloon shot yeah. or whatever so we're yeah. really we're focused on music events right nice nice and you know what there really is a huge community of supporters for musicians Uh, i think what we end up with is a ton of musicians because it's always uh when someone comes goes out to see a live performance it gets other people that aren't involved with music involved and next thing they're playing Yep. You know, it inspires them. They're going, you know, I'd love to get up there. You know, not everybody wants to be on stage. There's no doubt about that. That's what makes it work. But there's so many musicians around, it's hard to have enough listeners oh, all over the place. You know, if you've got a thousand places playing music, you know, we would really like to have at least 10,000 people coming to listen yep. all over the place. But it's hard to fill up a venue sometimes because they're scattered all over with all the other uh talent yeah and again that goes back to our original point about you know just west michigan in general there's no shortage of talent around this area it. and it's it's a beautiful thing it's awesome i love it and i love that you're part of it and everybody else is part of it blue should we get onto this other song we have the last song it's it's called live it up uh, i i got a feeling <laughs> I, I, you might be uh you know sending us out with the yeah, big, a this big is hurrah a, this is kind of a booty shaking song and Sweet. we we just wanted to you know, this, this is, again, kind of goes back to our, our lighter side. And, and there is a, there is a message here. Uh, Travis wrote this right after he lost, um, a job a couple years ago. Um, and thankfully he's employed and very happy now, but, yeah, good. <laughs> um, but anyways, it, it was, it was him writing a piece that just says, you know, there are certain times in life where you get down and if you pay attention to all the terrible things going on in the world, you could certainly make a decision to just, you know, give up. Correct. But you know, push on through, live it up. You you bet. You bet. It's uh, it's just a, it's a fun song. Excellent. Hey blue, we are ready to listen to live it up by deep greens and blues.
someone else fill their cup They live it up, live it up whenever you can Live it up, find a rhythm and clap your hands Live it up, only got just a little time Live it up, only got to leave this earth behind Cause existing ain't in love, we got to live it up Live it up, live it up, live it up, live it up That's a line and live it up. up. are listening to WAWL 103.5. This is Walk the Beat. That was Live It Up by Deep Greens and Blues. Ben, that was a fantastic song. Thank you. Yeah, it's a it's a fun one. You have been living large, have you? I know I really do love that song, Live It Up. It's it's really going it gets people out of the chair. I can guarantee it. Yeah, it's a fun tune. We we uh it was fun to record and uh love playing it live and uh just again on on that tune too. You've got a uh, uh, Matt Young on lead guitar from uh, Sweet J Band, and I think somebody's on. Oh, Stefan Copenhaver on uh, fiddle. So, again, nice. it's it's us, and then you know so many great players, and we had so much support through this entire project, and that's nice. what really makes it happen. Well, you know, great players like to hang with great great players. There's no doubt. I'd like to think that for sure. So I know that you're a great player because you're hanging with some special people, and thank you very much. Uh, so one more time, how can we get a hold of you if we want to hear some of your music? So we've got a website, deepgreensmusic.com, deepgreensmusic.com. And that is, um, again, it's going to be revamped here in the next couple weeks. Um, you can buy both of our albums on there, contact information. That's really the best spot. If you're into Facebook, Excellent. that's great too. Deep Greens and Blues on Facebook. Um, you know, reach out to us for bookings or, you know, right, we, right. we can uh, do it all on the web. Excellent. Thanks for stopping in. Hey, thank you, Dave, so much. And Blue and Dave and everybody here, it's been uh, it's it's certainly uh, special to be invited here. And, and we appreciate your guys' support of local music because well, thanks. there's, thanks. you know, it's a it's sometimes a thankless, uh, a thankless job to be well, promoting local arts. But it's it, yeah. it, we certainly appreciate it. We're full of thank yous, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thanks to Blue Van Dyke for the sound that he provides every every week. Dave Darling, our uh, videographer, has been so nice to start videotaping this now. Don't forget to uh, check us out at, uh, I think Eric at WAWL will be able to upload our videos soon. Uh, you can also check us out at the, uh, what is it, I think it's walkthebeatradio.com, and uh, we'll have these things uploaded there too now. So, awesome. hey everybody, don't forget to listen local. The Walk the Beat radio show is recorded in Grand Haven, Michigan. Production and engineering provided by Blue Van Dyke. Featuring your host, Dave Palmer.